Doing great. Just a few days away from practice starting, right? Actually, we start tomorrow. Okay. So, you had some injury bugs the last two years, to say the least, but you seem to have a real solid core coming back. You got two thirds of your scoring, two thirds of your rebounding coming back. You have to feel pretty good going into the season. I like our guys. Uh, I thought we had a great summer. You know, sometimes, you know, as coaches, you say that, and I, and I try to be honest and sincere. Every time I talk about our guys, I, I thought we had a great summer. It really started for us in the weight room. And you can see the transformation with the bodies. You know, Coach Nicodemus did a tremendous job in the weight room with the guys. Uh, a lot of tough works. I felt like that was one of the areas outside of the actual game where we had to get better. We had to get bigger and stronger. Uh, and we did that. I mean, just in Jeremiah Tillman's body right now, at, you know, at 6'10", 6'10 and a half, uh, 267 pounds, he's fast, athletic, he's strong. And you can see it. You can see it. He's had a transformation with his eating habits and what he's eating, what, he, what he's not eating anymore. Uh, you look at Javon Pickett, his body's a machine. So just, it's been really impressive to watch that. Uh, but a credit, one, to Nicodemus, but also to the guys of making a commitment of what to eat and what not to eat. And that's not an easy thing to do when you're a young guy to change some of those habits of things that you, you always thought were good foods and you enjoyed eating but not good for you. So uh, I've been impressed there. I did on the floor, I mean, guys have made a tremendous amount of progress, a lot of time, individual skill work, teamwork. Uh, and I, and I take Jeremiah again, for example, God has really improved his game. You can see the improvements right now. Uh, like Mitchell Smith said yesterday, Jeremiah's playing like a dog. It means he's playing very well, and he has another level. Uh, but he, but that's how impressive he's been, in, you know, in his fall workouts. And it's just a matter of now when he gets on the floor in live games. And I think the transformation will be when, when something critical happens, how he approaches that particular situation. And then uh, if he does the right way, which we anticipate he does, and he's the best guy in the league, no question. The three uh, guards that were freshmen last year um, really seemed down the stretch to mature. Uh, of course, Torrance Watson was one of your leading scorers the last few games. And talk about their development, what you're expecting out of them this year. Well, you're talking about Javon Pickett, Torrance Watson, Xavier Pinson, uh, three true freshmen. You know, normally in, in, in cases like that, you always want to have a older guy that you, you can learn a year from, just you know, take some lumps, learn some lessons. And I thought Jordan Geist did as good a job as he, as he could as an older guy in trying to navigate through that one. But, you know, they learned some valuable lessons, though painful uh, early on. Uh, X Pinson, some struggles up and down as far as, you know, handling business, the, the discipline in which you have to operate every day, the accountability to do your job, to be reliable at all times. I think Javon Pickett was just uh, had a workman's like effort from day one, just a business like approach. And you saw the results on the floor. A guy uh, on the surface you thought may not have had a freshman that he had in the SEC as a true freshman, but he showed with hard work, uh, dedication. But, but he's also one of the few guys I've been around in years with just. Whatever you say do as a coach, he's doing it. There's no questions asked because if this is what it means for us to be successful or for me to be successful coach, then I'll do that. And then Torrance Watson, the guy that came out of high school, tremendous accolades, uh, one of the all-time leading scorers in, in, in the state of Missouri, uh, came in, struggled early, just, you know, how hard it was. Uh, he's a physical player, but the reps you have to put in outside of basketball, because you have those required hours and you have those hours where 6 a.m., 10, 11 at night, with the consistent work ethic away from the coaches and just the adjustment. Everybody adjusts at their different paces. And I thought down the stretch those last 14 games, he played really well. Uh, but then there's also two other levels I think he can get to. Okay, we're going to end our YouTube interview part now.